What's up everybody? Today I am using a double water backland with a Gligar in the lead, which is literally like the perfect core for the double backland because it resists grass and it resists electric and it is super effective. So I was using this team with a lot of Marowak and it did really well for me. I went like tons of five O's with this team, but this one's better because it, it, it's, it's better, okay? It's better, okay? It's just better. So yeah, I went, I did really well with this team, and it's probably my one of my best teams of the season, definitely by far, just because of like, there were certain scenarios, if we, if you don't draw out the grass, um, then it's kind of hard for Jellison to sweep, but it's still got Shadow Ball to like, um, hurt them if you get to them to the Zero Shield scenario. So yeah, it's uh, four more days until I leave, so yeah, um, hopping into the first game, leading Gligar into Shadow Gillade. Okay, so... Two, um, so it's four to the Leaf Blade and five to the Close Combat, and so they do win CMP, obviously. But two Leaf Blades actually chaos, yeah, so I do have to expend a shield, which is quite annoying, but it doesn't really matter just because, like, this thing is so glossy, we can basically just farm them down. But yeah, I'm gonna fire off the Aerial Ace, <coughs> and they're staying un in here, which is very weird, and they don't try to swap out, so. Um, I'm thinking maybe they're weak in the back, so I'm actually gonna stay in here and maybe uh, farm down. So that's just another leaf blade. I've got a shield because if they've got a Gallade grass, then I need to like I need to somehow win. So I am going to build up some energy, and they swap out into an Empoleon. So I'm just full sending the dig here, just because like. Either we grab the final shield or it's massive damage. Either one, it's fine. We do grab the final shield. I'm coming in with Jellicent just because we have a better matchup here than, uh, you know, stab hydro cannons on resisted. It's better to come in where it's a bulkier Pokemon and also it has Shadow Ball. Like, it's just, it's better. And also, it doesn't have a very. It has a. It has actually a decent matchup against Gallade. Um, but yeah, wait, I'm running with Bubble. Am I running Bubble? No, I'm not running Bubble. Oh, I used the wrong thing. So, and I'm not running Bubble, I'm running Hex. So, just to let you know, I'm running Hex in all the battles. That was just a mistake. They do get to a final Hydro or Drill Pick, but, um, neither one of those will care, so, yeah. But yeah, I'm super excited to actually, this is actually going to be my first time flying in an actual airplane. Like, this first time I'm going to sail the skies. So, I'm, yeah, which is going to be really cool. So, I'm going for the Surf to, because they were getting close to a, another Leaf Blade. But Surf takes out the Shadow Gallade. And in the back, they have actually a normal Gligar. Okay, so I get to the um, Surf, but this won't care. It's also shiny like me, man. We've both got shiny Gligos. So, yeah. Surf he puts them into a 50 50 range. I'm just going to come in with my Gligar to hopefully force them to throw energy just before I get to my next. Area is. I'm not even throwing because I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, let me show you that I got a for alligator. I actually thought my for alligator was there, but it wasn't, so yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. I wanted to come in with my for alligator, but now, I, yeah, my opponent isn't winning this game, so they're just gonna, yeah, concede the match. Yeah, and cool team. Next one, yes, you know, in Stunfisk. I actually got a very good IV Yovan Stuntfisk today that I'm going to build up, and I also got a 0 15, 15 normal uh, uh, coughing, so wheezing video confirmed, yes, um, and also you know, Stuntfisk video. Um, so discharge, okay, well I guess they're both resisted and it is better to go for the um, resisted discharge instead of the double resisted mud bomb. I guess, yeah, but this is such a dominating matchup. Dig gets no shielded. Oh, are they okay? They're swapping out into a Typhlosion. Is this their best answer? Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, and I can. I know I can survive one Thunder Punch. So I'm gonna no shield, and uh, so yeah, Thunder Punch. That's fine. They do go for the Thunder Punch. That puts me into a range. I'm gonna go for one more, and then throw. Just for, uh, I should have thrown two, but one is okay, because also they, they over farmed by three, so I would have gotten to another one. And now they're going for the full farm down, but I'm going to get to a Hydro Cannon before they can farm me down, and either win Switch, or grab the final shield. Either one of those is great, because like, we've got, yeah, we've got double eighty matchups. We've got two shields now, two shields. I'm just going to come in here. 
I am gonna shield the blast burn because this would just it's it's a blast burn man. It's from a shadow, non-shadow type item. It's gonna do a lot. It's they end up going for the thunder punch. I'm gonna fire off the area ice because like there's no need for me to go in for a dig. It's an aerial ace, really. It's gonna KO. It's a stab aerial ace. Aerial ace knocks it out, and they're. What are they gonna come in with? They end up just conceding the match, so they must have been really, really weak to Galaga. It's just, don't be weak to Galaga, man. A Raichu on the lead? Okay, this is good. It, like, it's good to see the electric types in the lead, and they're actually running it with charm, so that makes it better for our backline and worse for our frontline. So I'm just gonna fire off the dig because uh, it's it's worse if they don't if they uh, shield a bait or don't shield the bait then shielding a, a non bait and they actually let that go that one shots the right shoe and winning a switch and they're coming in with a slow king I'm instantly gonna swap because I want to keep my uh, Galaga healthy just in case they got a grass in the back and there's a dog barking in the background I'm super sorry if you can hear that I will go talk to him after this video. So I'm gonna swap out hydros do a lot here, and I know I can survive a scald a surf or a psychic here So yeah, it's a bit weird that they gave this thing legacy surf and then gave a scold Which is just ten times better because it's more damage and it also has a less chance of debuffing your opponent So I'm gonna over farm just before they get to like or just just before like my next hydro just because like mm, if they come in with something that can farm me down then they won't get a bigger farm down and if I can get to a hydro then that's huge and they got a skeleton oh and a load of Marak in the back okay not skeleton I'm gonna come in here and get to a dig just to force these shields and now they do build up to a move but like I've got super effective hexes and also like really let's call the bait it's the bone club <laughs> there's nothing they can do Oh, my opponent just conceded the map. That's brutal. That is brutal. I wasn't actually calling bait there. Oh dear. Talent Flame, not good. Got to get out of here. Um, and also, like, Talent Flame, just. We've got two better answers in the back. So, like, really. And we, yes, we lure out a Trevenant. So, this is how this team is meant to work. And then Ice Beam for Alligator can either grab switch advantage or shield advantage so like this is just this is how you can't run crunch well I guess you can but also don't because then you can't grab a shield like that and win switch or not win shield advantage and now we can just come in with Gligo and farm down so yeah this is another benefit there are core breakers um like what's another what's a core breaker a zoom roll a zoom roll oh, that's actually that's okay no 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 oh there was a core breaker I can't remember what it was uh I th I'm sure it's in this video, but I can't remember what it was. Anyway, we're gonna farm up a bit and then fire off the aerial ace. Aerial ace continues to amaze me on how much damage it does. And they're coming in with a zoom roll. Oh dear. So it's a, it's literally just the fire, grass, water. Like really, it's that's like as a tail as Oda's town. So I threw on alignment just to make sure that they weren't gonna catch the day because then that would have been brutal. <laughs> oh dear. And now I'm gonna swap out because I wanna like I want them to swap out into their um into they do okay they do swap out and now I'm gonna be able to fire the surf. Surf won't KO so they don't actually have to shield it, but I have to shield Brave Birds just because it's my final Pokemon. And now they're actually really low, so I should be able to farm down maybe. Oh no, I'm gonna stay in here and get some more energy. And I'm like, okay, that is enough for a brave bird. It's three incinerates. I think it's four to the brave bird, but I, I, I couldn't. I think they threw an incinerate before getting out. They just go for the flame charge, and I should be able to farm them down. Oh, they barely get to another freaking move. I still have to shield this. Just because, like, I want it. And now I'm going to come up with so much energy that I can just go for one. Go for the shadow ball. Um, Shadow Ball, if this, if this grabs a shield, then that's fine if I can get to another one. But if it doesn't, we can just fire off a Surf. And they know shield! Oh my gosh, and it's on CMP. Play Rough, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, none of them will care. Yeah, none of them would care. I thought it was like, maybe Hydro? No. They go for the Play Rough, that does nothing, and we're at a Surf. Surf uh, from this range will be enough to K. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My voice is not doing what I needed to. Okay, that's not what I wanted to. They shield the surf, but then I can just farm down the Azumarill with my Glagar, winning me that game. Very, very cool team. 
Oh dear, Swampert lead, not good. Well, I mean, it's not bad. Two digs basically knock out. Oh no, does knock out. Uh, they're coming in with another Trevenant, so this is amazing. And because they stayed so long, we can get to a um, Ice Beam before they can get to a uh, move. So Ice Beam grabs another shield. Booyah! Uh, and they're, staying, they're gonna grab some more energy. I, I understand why. But now they're actually really low. And I'm just gonna farm this thing down. There's no... I'll shield the potential Shadow Ball just because, like, it's, it's a Shadow Ball. And I'll just farm down and come out with, like, two digs loaded and keep them for if I need to go up against that, uh, yeah, the Swampert. Swampert's actually pretty glossy, in my opinion. Gonna shield it. It ends up being a foul play, so it's Seed Bomb foul play confirmed. Interesting move set. I'm just gonna be able to... F oh, I thought I was gonna be able to farm down. I'm gonna no shield if they should... Eh, no, no. File play definitely gives you more coverage and then it gives you more things to throw. I'm gonna instant swap out and they end up having a frost slash in the back. That is so interesting. So I'm actually not gonna throw the move just because like or build up to the shadow ball because I don't want them to shield. I want them to not shield and they do not. So this puts them into a perfect like hex down range. I need to call the bait. That's what I need to do here. I'm calling the bait. Actually, no, shield. Okay, never mind. Fuck. Uh, sorry. Uh, I thought I was shielding. Never mind. Uh, and now I think. Yep, I go for the next surf, and they got to shield it because otherwise that's what they are. They are freaking frost lass. They are dead freaking. I don't know. Icicle girl. Um, and this, yeah, they do get to a shadow ball before I can care, before I can take them out. But that's fine. We got, we should be able to farm down. Oh, but do they? They don't have a hydro, do they? Do they have a hydro? I should be able to farm down. And we do get the farm down, but do they have a hydro? Uh, they do not have a hydro. Okay. Okay. But I've got two digs, and this thing is not very bulky. Dig number one. Does 50% of the damage, 50% of the health, and they've got no fast move pressure, so we can get the next dig off. And boom! Knocks out the Swamp Root, winning us that game by the skin of my teeth. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. So subscribe because I'm getting really close to 300. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Um, that's it. Peace.